Hello everyone, my name is Nikhil Khanna. I work for David Twiliani Medical University. This university is in Georgia and Georgia is a small country next to Turkey. And uh, basically what I want to talk to you about is that why should one choose Georgia as a destination for medical education and DTMU for that matter and what are the plus points of David going to David Twiliani Medical University for MBBS for Indian students. So I've counseled a lot of Indian students and their parents regarding uh, education abroad. And what I found is that their main concern is about the safety of their child and to which country should they really send their child to. So what I found is that Georgia suits them in that regard because it's considered one of the most safest destinations for Indian students. Uh, a lot of websites also claim that it is amongst the top 10 most safe countries um, in the world. So that is one thing. You, I would like you to check, check it online and you will find a lot of websites supporting what I'm saying. So, uh, the safety of a student, uh, if it is very important for the parents, then Georgia becomes a very good destination for doing MBBS. Secondly, Georgia is not a corrupt country. That is a very important point because what you have seen is that if a country is very corrupt, then usually it is uh, uh, not very safe place to be in. Like you will find if you choose, you know, to compare Georgia with Russia, Ukraine, China, Philippines, you will find that Georgia is very less corrupt. And for that, I would like you to visit um, the Corruption Perception Index and you'll find that Georgia is placed much higher around you know around other European countries and whereas um, Russia and Ukraine and Philippines and China they they are much more corrupt like China is much more corrupt than India in corruption perception index you will find that so and Russia and Ukraine are you know placed next to uh, Pakistan and uh, Afghanistan in terms of corruptions so they are very very corrupt countries please go to corruption perception index and find that out for yourself Secondly, the main most important point is education. So education in Georgia, in a lot of universities, they do have good quality education, but DTMU is the university which teaches the American syllabus. So what you pay for is education in Georgia, but what you get is the same syllabus, the same education as it is in the USA. So in DTMU, in David Twiliani Medical University, they teach you the American syllabus. Uh, the children learn from Kaplan books, the same US MLE syllabus which is taught in the US. Now, in India, what happens is, if someone, if a, if a MBBS student decides to go to the US, then they have to uh, pass the US MLE exams. Like America likes to test those students, those uh, doctors who, come to US and they would like to test them for their knowledge so they have this US MLE test United States Medical Licensing Examination these steps are conduct these uh, tests are conducted in three steps step 1 step 2 and step 3 so most students who are studying in other countries like in India would first finish their MBBS and after that they would take off time and they would learn the American syllabus from the US MLE books and then they would appear for step 1 a couple of years after finishing MBBS and after that they would then prepare for step two and after passing both of these steps they go for step three in the US but what happens while studying in David Tulliani Medical University the same students can appear for step one while studying MBBS they can appear for step one after five semesters of their education which is two and a half years and they can appear for step two after ten semesters of their education so that is a very big advantage of studying in David Twiliani Medical University, Georgia. And the education is definitely not easy since it's one of the best syllabuses of the world, the best courses. So it is not easy. It is not the kind of courses which you get in Russia and Ukraine or in China. Because what we have seen is that once the graduates pass from these countries, from Russia and Ukraine and China and Philippines, they find it very difficult to pass the Indian eligibility test, the MCI eligibility three tests. Uh, whereas our students from David Twiliani Medical University go through such an extensive syllabus that they don't have any problems in passing the MCI exams. 
so they usually pass it in the first attempt itself so that is a very big plus point and secondly there are a lot of other universities also in georgia and most universities claim that they have a hostel as well now dtmu has a huge campus and they have an in house hostel but these universities the other universities which claim that they have the hostel are usually hostels outside the campus and they are run by other private players but david twilliani medical university hostel is run by the university management so that again adds to the advantage of being within the campus to be able to focus on your studies and to you know stay within the campus in a hostel run by the university that's a very big advantage which our students have over the other universities within georgia and the campus uh, there is, there are rooms and there is also uh, a mess which is completely indian food so i would like to share this information with you and i would like you to also watch our videos you can go to uh, uh, youtube and search for dtmu india india uh, channel and you'll find many videos about the campus about uh, the university and the hostel you need, you may even visit our website for further information which is www.dtmuindia.com or you may write to us if you wish to our email id is dtmuindia@gmail.com and i'm sure you know making uh, coming to dtmu will be a very positive step in life